Today's Final Fantasy XIV Reaction Recap is sponsored by Square Enix. How cool is that? Now, if you're watching this, it means that Echoes of Mana is available free to play right now on iOS and Android. For those of you who don't already know, Echoes of Mana officially launched globally on April 27th and is the newest game set in the Mana series universe. In this exciting new mobile action RPG, players can recruit new and classic Mana series characters as allies on their search for the legendary Mana Sword. And in true Mana series fashion, you could play solo or team up with up to three of your friends in action-packed co-op battles to defeat tough bosses and enemies using a variety of special techniques and mega spirit magic with awesome special animations. Now I'm somebody who didn't get the opportunity to play Secret of Mana until I was already in college since I didn't have a Super Nintendo growing up, but it's still really cool to see characters like Prim and Randy redrawn in this beautiful new art style. And as a fan of the recent Trials of Mana remake, I am super happy to see that Angela made it into this one too. I mean, they even got Serafina from Legend of Mana, so literally all of my favorite Mana girls are in this one. You can train up your allies to form powerful parties and solve challenges as you make your way through the story, and when you're playing in co-op, you can even communicate using these cute little preset mana-themed stickers, too. If you've been hankering for a new mana-themed experience, and if you're watching this video, let's face it, you probably are, you could join the adventure now and receive tons of free bonuses in-game to celebrate launch. The link is in the description and will take you right to the Echoes of Mana download page, so don't delay and claim those launch bonuses for yourself. Thanks once again to Square Enix for sponsoring today's video, and now, on to my latest Final Fantasy XIV reactions. What? He froze the eyes from the abyss? Those eyes. No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was Throw him back in the plans. hole! What are you doing? How did he even get those? How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness. Shouting my We literally threw them cries, only to be down a, a bottomless pit. Faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. What? Take back our homeland. Free Alamigo. <laughs> You say no mortal should wield these eyes, then I shall gladly become a Oh, so we are gonna get a second phase with him then. The oh good, because I thought that boss battle was too easy. They no longer deserve. What exactly do you mean to do? Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so That voice raw, actor's going in, though. So true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. Uh-oh. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power things are getting good oh yes i know their limitations which is why i will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the calamity itself what could be worse than nidhogg because you know he's going to be taken over What the heck? An ending to mark a new beginning. My pain, my longing, you shall have it all! Even my dog knows something's up. I know he's barking in the background. What's he gonna reawaken as though? You better transform before you hit the ground and go splat. Oh. Or he just didn't awaken and he just killed himself. Yeeted himself off the cliff. So he's just dead then. Or he's gonna take all the souls of the of the dead and turn them into something. What the heck is this? This is kind of scary for Final Fantasy. This seems like something out of a Resident Evil game. Oh 
What in the world? Oh, see, I don't like this though. They're playing Dragon Song again. Oh no, wait, no, they're not. This is the Realm Reborn song. Wait, what? Is, what is happening? This light, is it? Yeah, this is answers. His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking what, shape. What, 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 what? Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do. There is one thing. Oh, so this is going to be the moment that you couldn't keep your mouth shut about. Do you think you're going? This is going to be it. This is how he's going to go. Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent oh. spell of ceiling. I will now attempt to do the same. Okay. This is a shame, because he's one of my favorite Lalafels. We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days. So he's going to go with answers playing in the background with the corpse of uh, Ilbert lying there with the two eyes? It may not always be apparent. I was ever your grandsire's finest. Oh, oh he's going to go out like a beast at least. Tupsumati, of course. The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Pavalimo. I know how that spell works. And Papa and Ida have been together since the beginning. They're always together. Oh, and they're watching from the sky. Hilda, my girl! It is time to leave. Quite right. Quickly now, off you go. The further away, the better. Oh, that's kind of heartbreaking. You could hear the panic in his no. voice. If you're staying, then so am I. No, you're not, Ida. Come on, you're coming with us. No, Ida. There is a path only you can walk. And it must not end here. Not like this. Man. Again, though, if he's going to go out like this, he's going out like a boss. Take her. Please, you have to take Papa. her. Papa. See, he knows. He knows. Grab her and go. Yeah. You can't change his mind. This is one battle you cannot fight. Oh you man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, this was the only way, exactly. Oh man. I'm trusting the Papa Limo. That's cool, it gives you the option though. But I know what must be done. Dang. I think he means now. <laughs> that's that's how I would be. Okay, we gotta go. Bye. See you later, Papa Limo. You're great. Salute. But we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, old friend. Oh, poor little Papa, all by himself. But he can die. Bid thee farewell again, uh, he can die dear, happy, Hilda. knowing that she's safe. No. So there's comfort in that. Let us see how good a student I truly was. Let's go, Papa. I have the power! Got all those traditional Final Fantasy crystal swords swirling around to stop the birth of a primal because Ilbeard was stupid. Oh, that's cool looking. Dang. See, but he's dying with a smile. He's got the will of D. Papa. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Who's this guy? Ooh. Ooh. It's a cool looking dude. Got a the Seamus and music order, playing. Sir. This place. It is within the realm of Eorzea. 
Oh, oh, oh I love it! I understand from your answer that I have indeed arrived in Eorzea. It's even got the doom doom, the kabuki sounds. Hey? Yes? Are we gonna go to like, You're in Awano, Eorzea? feudal Japan themed area in Stormblood? Because if that's the case, ah, a plain I definitely gotta stream as much of Stormblood as I can. That. My journey was not without its hardships. I wonder? Yo, I'm excited! If we do, that's gonna be awesome! I just, I love that theming. I loved it in Monster on the Rise. I'm gonna like it here. You do not believe that so small a bar could bear me across the ocean? <laughs> the towering traveler. He's hungry. He needs some grub. Would perhaps have been wise to lay down my oars a moment to sup on more than the spray of bride water. Nay, I will not hearken to the feeble grumblings of an empty belly. Duty comes before all. Oh yeah, I like his design too. Yup! Oh, this is cool! This is cool, this is cool. I like him already. Oh, oh down he goes. Good man. Right. <laughs> Get this man a burger, please! The little lala fell in the background. <laughs> oh, far indeed from home, friend. Oh, I'm ready for this. Oh, red Magitek armor. The Red Baron. Let's end this nonsense. All right, photon stream. I feel like I'm playing Xenoblade. Magitek Cannon! I wish I could just break this thing out every single boss battle. Well, I understood less than half of that. So, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? I think we are. Sid wouldn't have gone along with it if he didn't think we were doing the right thing. Is there any other way? I suppose not. Then keep your mouth shut, Ida. I always hate that when people bring up things and they're like, Oh, this, this can't be the right way to go about this. But they have no other solutions. Then don't say anything. You can't add anything to the conversation. That was like the worst. I just get flashbacks to when, <laughs> to being in school and having group projects and people are like, I don't think I want to do it this way. And I go, okay, well, how do you want to do it? Well, I don't know. Then shut up. Let me do it. I'm so glad I don't have school anymore. That's awesome. I never have to go to school ever again. I'm done with school. I'm done with college. I will never have homework again for the rest of my life. That is a good feeling. This is cool. <laughs> yes. He's getting a little too excited Fly though. Free, my pretty. Oh, that comes that's why the the quest is called Fly Free My Pretty. The launch sequence has begun. Omega's loose! Ooh! Ooh! There goes the cocoon. Look at that machine. I feel like there's probably a miniature version of that that's a mount that you can unlock later. Whoa, 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 whoa. So what is that then? It's like a mix of Mahatma and uh, Mahatma, what am I saying? Mahatma and, uh, I can't say the name right. Mahat, Mahatma. Mahatma and Nidhogg. Oh, wait. Leviathan? Ooh. 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 
Yo, look at this. This is a pretty hype way to finish Heaven's Word and start Stormblood. Look at that creature. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is horrifying. This was the last section of the game that had PS3 support. Stormblood was PS4 and PC only. Ah. And Shiryu is the name of this thing? Or Shinryu? So new dragon. A little on the nose for a name, but okay. Yo, look at this! Ooh! Really, he looks like a Monster Hunter character, mixed with Nidhogg. And he's got the alien jaws, he has a jaw inside of his jaw. Yo! Omega Laser! I always feel like Frankie from One Piece should be here yelling, SUPER! <laughs> Yo, wow! Wow, wow, wow. Well done. Shinryu is widely renowned for being one of the single hardest bosses in FF history. I think he is in Final Fantasy V. I don't think I've actually ever played Final Fantasy V which is why I'm unfamiliar with him. But for anybody who's a hardcore fan of FF5, they were probably losing their minds at this reveal. Yeah, 5 is one of the few I haven't played all the way through. 8's another one. And 9. And 11. 11 was the first MMO, right? I haven't played, like, any of 11. I played the free trial, and that was about it. Omega has stopped transmitting, but that shouldn't be. Uh -oh. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. <laughs> Explain it to me, please. Tell me like I'm stupid. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have... Hey, thanks for stopping by, John. Appreciate that. Thank you. Of things, but we and thank you to Dragoon for subscribing. Not comma. If thanks a bunch. Which one. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. Alright, back to Gridania we go. Open your eels says, I think it's the god deity kanji used for Shin in Shinryu, and not the new kanji that's pronounced in the name. Oh, that's actually good to know. So it doesn't just mean new dragon. So it's god dragon. Papalimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if mm. the connection is broken... The last bit of Papalimo will be gone. Hmm. She lost her mark. Ida, I feel like, needs more story. So I hope she's present in a lot of Stormblood. Because I feel like we've spent a lot of time with most of the Scions, but she's one that it's still kind of like a mystery to me. The light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Papalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time. Mm. But it was important. He didn't sacrifice himself for nothing. Oh. Oh, she's taking the mask off permanently now? Oh. Ida, there is no need to explain. Obi's barking too. 
All right, Ida's not gonna have her mask anymore. I'm gonna have to get used to this. I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. Oh, oh, okay. Twenty years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. Backstory. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the Mad King, Theodoric. I honestly thought she was going to have like a massive scar or something when we only saw her eye during the e end of Rome Reborn. She was strong and kind. But she just looks normal. I always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too. Mm. And I never saw him again. After that... I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city. Moms of and moms? That was where she met Master Louis Soir. Hmm. He introduced her to the circle of knowing. And she eventually became an archon. So then I'm wondering if there's she stuff that I need to know from before FF14 got rebooted. Or did you simply mean to continue? Or if they're just going to tell me everything. Because I feel like this is probably going to benefit players who played before Realm Reborn. You've known all along, haven't you? Like they're going to canonize some of that I stuff. Of course. We all recognized you at once. What? It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. So what's her actual name then? It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. What? Ida died six years ago, on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers... They're throwing a lot of stuff at me right now! Girl. She was so strong. If you play Coils, you'll learn more about 1.0. Well, I definitely plan on playing Coils at some point. Everyone said that's very important, and I think it'll make for a good reaction. Yeah, why'd you never tell me? That's a good question. I wonder if they planned this all along with the character. I'm sure they did. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lise. Lise. Okay. When Papa Limo brought me Eda's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but I decided I wanted to be his new partner. To keep alive all the good that she had done. Okay. Thank you, Balmung, I didn't want to for be adding me. Exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself, and it almost seemed easier to play the role. Okay. Papa Limo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path. That's what he told you. And those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it. So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as lease. All right. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to great. be. Great! Great! All right, I'm excited to find out more. This will be cool. Welcome to the party, Lise. This really is a beautiful area. War is upon us once more. Do you regret standing against the Empire? Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? Man, I cannot wait to see what Doma is going to look like, too. To claim that I never doubted they keep hyping it up. Would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. Shadow Walker. Gone, Shadow Walker. We leave, leave for, for Doma. East, for Doma. Let's go. Believe me, you are not going to be disappointed. I am so excited. You guys know I love that aesthetic. Feudal Japan is my kind of aesthetic. I love fantasy games that take place in that kind of world. So, heaven's word is done. This is the Stormblood trailer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. 
Ooh! Ooh, I'm about to do the music for this as well. Excellent. I am ready for this. It's got almost a Disney feel to it right now, though. Whoa, whoa! Um, is this Lise? Why does she look like this? Lise, hold on a minute! Woo! Lise as a monk! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Ooh! They're fighting and training? The Valley of the End? We Naruto boys now? That's like the Hokage statue! Yo, Lisa's going in! She's beautiful! <laughs> so she's gonna become like a huge, huge major character in this next part. That makes sense. It's got kind of a Monster Hunter vibe to it, too. Bum, bum, bum. And that's obviously me. Yeah, I know, I know the guy fighting her is me. That's the Warrior Light. Yo! What a cool area! Yeah, it's like Naruto mixed with Street Fighter. What the heck, dude? Okay! They're showing way less of the story this time around than they did in the Heavensward one. Ooh, I love what they're doing with the map, too! This is cool! Doma time? Let's see. Show me feudal Japan Doma. Wait, what? Naboo? Wait, it's underwater? Jar Jar Binks, boys? Wait, oh no, it's not. Wait, 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 wait. Where's Boss Ness? Yo, yo! We're getting Naruto. We're getting episode one Star Wars. Who is this dude? Oh, that's supposed to be me. Yo, their outfits are so clean. Who? <laughs> oh, steady blade. We're going. We're going to Wano Country. <laughs> we're slicing the bullets. Yo, I'm so. I'm so glad I'm playing as a samurai right now. It fits. It fits. I'm definitely not changing my class now. We Zoro boys! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I'm gonna love this expansion. I am gonna love this expansion just based on this alone. Aaron? <laughs> What's going on here? No, this is seriously... Wow! Wow! Ooh! Onigashima? Oh, and there's Gosetsu and Yugiri? Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, bring it on! Oh, man! Oh, the logo is sick, too! Stormblood, is that supposed to be Lisa on the front? Stormblood, Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, here we go! Oh, I love the title screen! The drums of war playing, we got fire! Oh man, oh man, oh man! When we get back to streaming more Final Fantasy XIV, we start Stormblood! I cannot wait!